Welcome to 100 Days of Python, the Python Code Along Challenge. I'm Bill Mosley, and if you want to find the entire listing of 100 Days of Python, you can find it at my website, www.bmosley.com hdp. Let's get started. Hi, welcome to day 46, and today we're going to be doing something that is pretty powerful. We are going to be using a library called Pickle to save complex data structures in just a few lines of code. So we're again going to start with our code, our end code from day 33, which was this employee database application. You can see here that it uses this data structure to save each employee records, which is a nested dictionary. And in the previous days, uh, what we did is we actually took that dictionary and we, we used a function or we wrote a function that would take that dictionary apart and save it out as a flat text file. That was a lot of work. So if you did those two days of work, you're really going to appreciate how simple it is to use Pickle. So I'm going to start out by copying that whole structure, all of that code, and pasting it into a new file here. And let's just get started with this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to import two libraries. First is the pickle library, of course, pickle, just like the tasty food, and also the OS library, because I'm going to use that function or that library to search and see if a file exists. And then the next thing I want to do, of course, is just create a couple of new functions. So the first one is going to be the save data function. So define save data, and this is the one that I'm going to use to save the data. And I'm going to pass in a dictionary object, and it's going to be sort of a replica of this one here. And this is going to be really simple. All it's going to do is take that data and save it as a pickle file. So what I need to do is create a file object by using the open function. That's a native Python function. And I'm going to say uh, employee data dot txt. And sometimes in the name, I want to put something like the word pickle. Maybe I'll just leave that there so that people know that it's a pickle file, or I'll remember that it's a pickle file. Because a pickle file, while it is a text file, is saved using binary format. So it's not very readable. And we'll take a look at that once we create this. But I'm going to open that file for writing in binary. So WB. And then all I'm going to do is take that data object. And I'm going to use a, a method called pickle.dump to put that data as it is in, a, in that file. So we're going to go pickle.dump. And the first parameter is the data, which is that. And the second parameter is the file. It's as simple as that. And then, of course, responsibly, I want to close that file. That's my whole save data function. So that's really nice because if you remember previously, we had to do all kinds of things to that data before we can save it. And in this in this instance, whatever whatever we pass into this function is just going to be stuck into that file. No worries. So the next function we want to create is the load data function, DEF, load data. And I'm going to pass in the parameter for this one as well. And the reason I need to pass in a parameter for load data is because I am going to use this structure as sort of a starter. So I'm going to say, I'm going to rename that to D starter. And I'm actually going to have D EMP be just a blank dictionary object for now. This is the one that I'm going to use for my working uh, data because it's already named, um, you know, throughout the throughout the program down here when I am using that. I'm referring to D EMP. So I'm going to use that as my data holder. Now this is just my data model or my starter. So I'm going to I'm going to save that and use it for later, but in my load data function, first thing I want to do is I want to check and see if that file exists, which would be 
this one right here. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to say if os.path.exists, and then I'm going to give it that path. If that file exists, then what do I want to do? Well, I want to open it as a pickle file. So I'm going to file, open, and we're going to open that same file, and we're going to open it for reading in binary, RB. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say D loaded. The dictionary that is loaded from that is going to say pickle dot load. And all we're going to do is give it that file. Next, we're going to close the file. So we'll go file dot close. And that's it for that piece. But if the file doesn't exist, then what we're going to do is we're going to say else we're going to say D loaded is we're going to use the data that we passed in. So that's where that comes in data. And then we're going to immediately, once that data is, is loaded from the model, we're going to turn around and save it right then and there. So we're going to say save data D data, just like that. And then, then from then on, we will have that file. And then of course we need to return D loaded. So we're returning that data back to the program. Those are our two functions. Now we've just got to integrate those functions into our program. So let's take a look. So the first thing we want to do is right here, before we get into the program loop, the first time we want to load the data. So let's load the data and we're going to give it the model or D starter as our backup. Now remember, this is only going to be used the first time we run the program to establish that model. After that, it will run for, straight from the file. And then where do we want to save data? Well, we want to save the data anytime we change the data. So let's look at our functions here. Get ID does not, show menu does not change the data. Add employee does change the data. So right here, we want to save data. And the data that we want to save is right here in this structure, EMP data. Now, of course, we want to save the data before we use the return statement because the minute you call return, you exit that function. So that should be the last thing we do. Okay, list employees does not change anything. Terminate employees sure does. That's kind of the whole point. And we're going to, again, right before we terminate the employee or return that data, we are going to save data. EMP data, and of course, everybody will be sad if we give them a raise and then that data is lost. So again, right here before the return EMP data, save data, EMP data. And that's all of the functions. So this should be a completely functional program now. Let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, so here is my program. And at this point, the file should be created. If I Now, if I look for that file over here, right, remember that name, employee data pickle, it should be right here, but it's not. And the reason it's not is because my program is still running. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to exit the program without doing anything. And then in just a second here, what we should see is, oh, there's my employee data pickle in the same folder as the script. So there's my employee data pickle. If I double click it and open it, gosh, it looks like a bunch of garbage. Well, that's because it is in a binary format. So don't worry about the lack of readability. That's a downside to pickles. You can't, it's not human readable, but it should be fine. So there's one more thing we need to fix in order to get this up and running, and that is the assignment of the data. Now we have load data, but remember load data returns the loaded dictionary object. And down here where we used load data, we didn't capture that input anywhere. So what we need to do, so we don't start out with an empty data set, is we actually need to DEMP 
equals load data. Now when it returns that that data load, it'll put it into the right variable, which is this empty dictionary here, which then gets used throughout the program. So let's go ahead and run that. And let's give it a shot here. We're going to first list the employees. And there they are. So it looks like they're coming from the program just fine. Let's add an employee. Sam Smith 23s smith at co.com. What is the salary? Oh, who knows? Too much probably. And then we'll list the employees. Okay, you can see Sam Smith with his huge salary has been added to the um, to the program here. And let's exit the program. And now, in theory, if if we did this right, when we rerun the program, then we will get all three of these records back. So let's run that program and let's list the employees. Good, Sam Smith is there. But Sam Smith is way too expensive for our company, so we are going to terminate him. And which one would we like to terminate? I would like to terminate employee three, EMP three. Sam Smith has been terminated. Let's list the employees. Well, now that we've saved all that money, we can give everybody a raise. So let's give everybody a raise of, let's say 10%, still saving a lot of money. There you can see the calculated raises, and we're at 10,000 or 100,000, 108,000, and 50,000 for salary, roughly. Let's exit the program and make sure that all of that got saved. So run back here and list the employees, and there they are with the new, new salaries. So that is the way we use Pickle to add a data saving function to a program with very little code. And that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching this video and coding along with me. Once again, if you want to access the entire listing of 100 Days of Python, you can do it at my website, www.bmosley.com HDP. You can also access my book, Introduction to Python Programming for Absolute Beginners, at my website, www.bmosley.com book. Thanks again, and we'll see you around.